What is going on YouTube? It is Flawfish here and welcome back to Packing It Up episode number 22 and uh, we're going to do some more pack openings here and just talk about the series and stuff and kind of the last few weeks or so and so uh, most of you have been watching or well if you're watching this you've probably been keeping up with the series here and um, it's actually now it is September 2nd I believe yeah it's September 2nd and uh, I finally signed back on the PlayStation and played it uh, a couple days ago, but I was away for about a, lo a little bit of time, like probably three weeks or so here. And um, so all the pack openings were from a while ago, and yeah, uh, all the episodes, same with that. And I really just, I've tried to find some people to play, but I could not find people to play. So I figured I'd do the finale and kind of the whole idea of it. Um, let's go ahead and let's open up some packs and do stuff like that. And so we're just gonna go ahead and see what we can get here. I don't really expect anything huge. Um, again, I'm gonna open up about 10 or so. Uh, just stuff, you know, to fill a collection. And honestly, um, I actually really enjoyed this series in general. Um, it was a lot of fun to do. And it's just lots of great experience, lots of great memories again. And just overall you know really a ton of fun and I can't thank you guys enough for your support on it because it was actually a pretty dang good series and you guys really support it and especially for sticking out the whole time while I was away but yeah um it's pretty much all we're gonna come down to I'll try to play some few games here and if I do you know maybe this won't be the finale but um it's looking like it's pretty hard to find games right now so um it's it's gonna be pretty interesting to see how how uh, things shake down here um if I am again, it'd be really nice, but I again don't expect it. I guess is kind of what I'm getting at. We got a puck bonus here of 100 pucks. Yippee ki yay! Um, again, we'll just send all these guys to my collection here. Uh, probably will get up to like 750 players or so. Uh, so not bad. Um, we can just quick sell the rest, I guess here. And yeah, like I said. I really enjoy this series. I am going to try to do it in NHL 14, um, and I am expecting to have a lot of fun in that one as well. I'll probably do it on a second account, just to kind of balance everything out, and it's honestly just going to be an overall blast in my opinion, and I might try to do some stuff with my handy dandy Xbox sitting right beside me here, and that might be a good series to run on it as well. Um, man, that was a brutal pack there. Uh, all the promo packs just ended yesterday too, so for those asking why, I actually got UC Jokinen, who's not bad. I actually really like UC Jokinen, so we'll send him to the trade pile. Um, and then let's just send all of these to my collection here. Again, um, I just really enjoy the whole opening up packs things and all that type of stuff, but yeah. Um, pretty much over the past few weeks, been working on a new room and stuff and moving and it's been, a, it's been a lot of time and a lot of hard work and it's finally done and over with and um, I need to actually get season tickets soon so uh, yeah anyways that, that's pretty much about it for that um, as, as far as NHL like stuff goes I probably won't be posting a lot until 14 comes out and I'll be posting pretty hardcore um, and let's see anything anyone interested in here not really. Let's see if we don't have any of these guys in the collection here. Um, yeah, it's just it's going to be a pretty interesting kind of scenarios um, upcoming for 14. I do have a few really, really cool series is, 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 is coming up. And really looking forward to actually doing those ones. I think you guys will really enjoy them. Hopefully, at least. I've been working on them for quite a bit of time. And I'm also trying to work on getting something else in store. But... Yeah, anyways, I think we'll open up one more pack here and call it quits probably for the series. So again, uh, we'll, we'll end out on the guy that left the NHL. We'll open up a Kobe pack and hey, who knows? Maybe we'll get something good here. And yeah, so as always guys, thank you very much for your support in this series. And you know, if you enjoyed this video or the series, you know, leave a like. If you're new to it, uh, we're not ending on that pack. Let's at least get one good pull before we go. This could be a while though. Um, Let's see, we're just going to end up start trying to quick sell everything, let's just send all to the collection. Um, yeah, but um, it's just, it's been an awesome series and again, really appreciate you guys' support through it the entire time. We already have this jersey, wow, that kind of shocks me. Um, <laughs> yeah, so, 
almost done, and I want to end on one good pull at least. You know, it might take a while, but let's try to get like one of the Silky Mitts players here. Um, and either that, whatever comes first, that are like 1.5 million packs, uh, something like that. And I'm just hopefully going to be able to get the full pack bonus for NHL 14. I really, really want that one. And let's see here. We got Ian White again. No one really good here. That's not the right one, I don't think. Um, ooh, Winter Classic jersey. I don't think you can send that to like to your collection though, can you? Um, I don't know if you can or not, but either way, we'll send it to the trade pile because I don't know if you can. Um, anything good in the contracts? Yeah, Islanders change team. Again, I'm not really caring too much about this stuff. Uh, we'll just send it all to the collection and then just quick sell it all. Because um, the market is pretty much dead. I could send the change team and make like 800 bucks from that or so. But again, not entirely picky about that right now. Uh, just no chilling, opening up some packs. Probably a couple more left here. Um, until we get a good pull at least. But yeah, so the series actually I think went fairly well. Ended up on a 12 game win streak or so to end it off. I think, it, was it 12 games? I think we went like 14... Six and eight, or six and one, or something like that. So overall, pretty fun that way, and it was a lot of a blast. All right, nothing major here. Nope. Let's just again do the typical thing here and send all of the collection here. Um, yeah. So let's see here. Um, and last pack. I think, I think, yeah, we'll do one more, I think that's a lot of packs, that's like 100k on packs, so, um, let's finish it off, opening up Datsuk, and let's see what we get here, um, again, hopefully something good, hopefully we get re rewarded, you know, for opening up 10 packs or so, um, this late, or this, at this time of the day, and, uh, 85, not great, but could be worse. Anyways, guys, and changed him to Pittsburgh, and eh, not bad. So, eh, and a rare, rare player, rare, just like sub 90 player. Oh, it's not the right Horvat. Dang it, I was all excited there. Uh, let's just send them all to the collection again here. And actually, you know what? We're not going to be that obnoxious. We'll send that to the trade pile just in case. Um, oh, I should have kept the Islanders change team, actually. And then let's quick sell these all. So yeah, almost. I want to get one good pull. Like Markov's like, ah, eh, he's all right, but I mean, could do better here. So let's go ahead and yes, let's open up one more. One more. Nope. Um. Yeah, we'll open up a um Henrik Lundqvist one here. So lots of pack openings here. Just gonna keep on going pretty much until I stop and. Either a get a good pull. Um, Louis Erickson, that's pretty decent. And Stanley Cup Thornton, alright, that's a decent pack actually. Um, an 88 overall. And two assistant captains card, Jody Shelley. It's actually a pretty good pack after all of those ones finally get one. So let's send all these guys to the collection here. I already have Jody Shelley, but he, he probably won't go for a ton anyways. Uh, Louis Erickson, I know I'll get something for him. Shelly probably will. Again, those sub 80s. Uh, assistant captain's card, you should. And I think the change teams, you should. Um, and a slime, so. Um, you know what? Let's open up one more. Again, Thornton, kind of a nice player to end on, I guess. Uh, let's go. Nah, I think that's good enough to end on. I think I think we'll go and we'll update the team probably one final time here, maybe. Um, now nah, let's do one more pack. One more pack. Let's try to get a far right castle to end on. The pack that was so good to me uh, for so much of the game. Far right castle. Let's do this. Let's end this packing it up in style and probably most of my NHL 13 videos, if not all of them. And yeah, it was an awesome game, tons of fun. I might have a review or something. And it was just, honestly, you guys, I can't thank you guys enough as we get pretty much nothing in here. Um, here we got a double change team. So that's about the only highlight in here. Um, 
Jeez, I can't end on a pack like that. I just can't do it. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll send them. We'll pull about 200k here tonight. Yeah, I had a lot of that stuff already. We're, we're making, we're, when you're making about 1k back in a 15k pack, or 15k pack, you know you have a lot of the stuff in there, but, um, yeah, that's kind of the principal point of the series, and it's just to, you know, have fun and build a team out of packs, and sure you guys know that, you know what, packs aren't exactly as horrible as what you think, especially when you use the players in them. The value, yes, it can be off, but when you use the players, and you know what you're doing, um, you know, it's just, it's pretty easy to get a good team and my team wasn't spe spectacular at all yes it had 86s and stuff and yes it took a lot of packs but honestly if you wanted to open up packs over time you could easily get all of that um two change team cards so nothing major here again uh trading pile on both and we'll quick sell the rest as always, actually we'll send all to the collection first. I don't think we'll, oh, we lost one player. All right, it's not bad. Um, again, 1K back, probably about 3K in that pack. If I were to sell everything out of it, um, I'll go, I guess what, what I could do is the next pack is kind of show you guys the value of them. And honestly, they're not that horrible, um, especially over the span of them all. Far right Kessel again. That's a nice pack to open up here. Let's see here. Let's see what we get in it. And let's see if we're going to be making that rain. Not even a start of the week yet. I, I've opened up a lot and to not get a start of the week is kind of bizarre. Um, and got that. And nothing major. So we'll go through this pack. So you can get probably 100 packs for this guy. 10 of 200. 100 again for Winchester. 100 for uh, Severit. Uh, again, 100 for this guy. Probably, you're probably just gonna get the low sell, 145 for him. Jerseys don't really sell for much. The arena actually could fetch a little bit because it is a large arena. And uh, Nashville logo again, not much there. Contract again in the mid, in the peak of the game, you're getting about I don't know, probably 600 for these, and then two, four, six. So that's about another 1.2k. That's about 1.8k. Um, between the rest of this stuff you're probably looking at this is actually a pretty rough pack you could probably get um, if you're lucky in it 3k from it so that wasn't exactly a great pack to go by actually you could probably get a little bit no 3k would be 3k would be good there um, it was so that was a rougher pack <laughs> That being said, you know, the Thornton and Erickson pack I was looking at around with the, I think that, was that the pack with the two assistant captains card? That was like a 50k pack um, in peak. So let's go with Coverboy here. Um, and let's try to get a better example here. <laughs> I know I've wasted a lot of pucks tonight, but, uh, or today, and you know, it's kind of worth it. I really do did enjoy the series. And <laughs> let's see what we get. So we got Brunner. All right, so let's price this again, 145. You're looking to get about, I don't know, between all these guys, all your players here, you're looking at about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Looking at about 1k for all of them combined, if you sell them right, and if the market was at its peak. Uh, the jerseys and stuff right here, you're looking for about 200 pucks, so 1.2. Um, your contracts, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. And then, so that's 1.2k, and then probably another 6 is 1.8. So again, you're going to make about 5k off of this pack, all said and done. Um, if you're patient enough to sell it, and um, again, oh, I forgot to send to my collection, oh well. Um, it's just kind of, it's kind of, it, they're not as bad as what you think. Um, yes, they're not worth 15k most of the time, but the times you do get good packs, they're just amazing packs right here. Um... And yeah, so let's see if we can get someone good here. Let's see if we can get a star of the week because, you know, after this many packs and with not that many people playing, you think you know you'd get a star of the week, but uh, it is kind of bizarre that they don't come as often as what you think. Again, this pack, same kind of deal. Um, you're actually going to get a lot for these uh, CHL guys because they don't really have a lot of people that um, put them up on the block. And when you don't have a lot of people doing that type of stuff, they're harder to come by and they end up costing more. And it's just really that whole, um, I guess, price 
um, not price lock, but um, kind of demand thing. Like if you're gonna want one of those players, some of them go for like a K, and they're just a regular 66 overall uh, CHL player. If someone wants them, they're gonna go out and get them. But yeah, I think we'll do one last pack here, and so I have about 1.5k to carry over. Um, let's go ahead and yeah, let's end on that suit. Let's end on a dat suit pack. See what it brings. See if it brings us any mojo. And <laughs> if not, then oh well. Um, had a lot of fun doing so, and you know that's what this game's really all about. And again, really got nothing in it. Um, nothing really worth saying. You know what? Let's go and buy another pack, but. Um, yeah, so anyways guys, as always, thank you very much for watching this series. This was like episode number 22, I believe. Um, I'm going to go ahead and send these all to my collection, and we're actually going to go through, I guess, a team overview here. Um, so let's just quick sell them all. That was a rough pack, actually. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't realize how rough some of, like, the last four or five were rougher because there wasn't any change team cards. Uh, you know what, we're going to make enough to get at least two more packs from all this stuff. So let's open up two more packs and we'll call it quits. Um, there, so let's go with a Malkin. I don't think I opened a Malkin yet. Ah, uh, hairball. <laughs> yeah, so this is a longer video. Holy cow. Lots of packs. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this because I am blowing like a lot of my packs. <laughs> it's kind of funny actually. Um, nothing in here. Uh, again, two change. All right, so this will be a better one to work with. So we got um, probably one, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, that's actually a good card to have. He's a sub. He's one of the sub um, sub 80. So that could actually be like a K for him, maybe more, because it is a Bruin. So he is a highly corrected player. So you got about one K there. Um, for Leak, you could probably get 300 pucks for Shepard, 100. Uh, Stepan, you could probably get 300 to 500 pucks at the high market. So you got about, um, between those last three player or four players, you probably got about, um, roughly 2k. You got about, um, another, about 1k in those guys, depending on when you sell them and shenanigans like that. So you probably got 3k from your players. Jersey's probably 1k because it is a WHL rare jersey. Those are harder to come by. Um, and contracts and these two guys again just quick sells probably or like 50 pucks for both um, Your contracts you're gonna make you know you have one two three four five Five contract five contracts. So that's another case. So you're at about 6k I want to say um, plus five checking you'll probably get 150 200 pucks for um, So that's 6.2 the change team cards were going if you sell them at the right time we're going for about 1.2 K to 1.5 K depending on the team so we'll go with at the high high time when they were like 3k so you're but you're at about 9k in this pack which honestly isn't exactly that horrible um, and it, it like I said it's not horrible it could be better yes um, let's see if we get I think we should get all these a couple at least oh wow we didn't have for leak that kind of surprised me I know we have the Stanley Cup edition because we pulled them but let's do one more pack here and Ended on that. I can work up the rest to grind up to 1.5 million again. A um, lot of pucks there, but hopefully I'll be able to get the full bonus. And yeah, so let's go ahead and let's open up this last pack right here. Um, let's go with let's go with Henrik Sedin here. And there we go. Let's see what this pack looks like, and then we'll kind of go through the team here and see what we ended up with. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and. We got really nobody again. I don't really want to end on a pack like this, but oh well, we're going to. Um, we got we got some CHLers in here. We got some CHLers up in here. So yeah, um, any good training cards? Probably not. I know I have all the Canucks jersey plus two all. Ah, uh, what the heck? We'll put that in the trade pile and list up some final stuff and let's see what we're, where we stand. I, I guess you know what I'm gonna do. A couple videos here. Um, I'm just gonna go through the team overview kind of for packing it up right now, and then I'll have another one after this. Um, yeah, so we're at one point. You know what, one more pack. I am addicted to them. It's official, but 50k. Yeah, I I won't make that much back. Uh, 15k is makeable, but for shizzles, let's finish. Actually, you know what? Let's finish off with the cover boy. 
Coverboy Claude, as I like to call him. Um, he's actually sitting on my desk right now, both in the game copy and the doll EA sent me, which is kind of funny, you know, saying you have a doll in your room, but whatever, YOLO, right? Um, and we finish it off with Pancakes and hey, Jonathan Blum. So a player I actually like in here who I'd actually probably put in my lineup, to be honest. Um, and yeah, so Pancakes Penner is on the roster. Uh, Route 2 is not bad. So this pack in the peak, you're looking at probably, again, probably 300, 300. Again, these guys are harder to find, so they're rare. Um, you're probably looking about 1K, two, probably 2K, 2 to 2.5K and, and all of that. And again, contracts and stuff, and one change team card. So um, let's go ahead and let's send them all to my collection because I know I don't have Blum for sure. And actually didn't have a lot of the players. So that was actually kind of a good pack for me personally. But that's a good pack to end on. Got a few players I actually liked in it. Uh, Rutu being one of them actually. But yeah, so that's about it. Let's go ahead and let's jump into the team here. Longer episode again. Sorry about the longer episode. But um, don't really want to cut it into two. I feel like the finale should be like a giant ending episode here. And yeah, so let's go ahead and let's look at the final roster here. So we had on the first line we had Huberto, Tavares, and Voracek. That line was an absolute beast line. I really like the way Huberto plays. Again, fairly cheap line to be honest to pick up, but very very beast line. Be interesting to see how they play in 14, but really looking forward to it. The second line is a Berchi, Galchenyuk, and Yakupov line. I was debating between Silverberg and Berchi, and I honestly think Silverberg is a better player in here. But I wanted the all, I guess I like this combination just a little bit better here, so I went with that combination. And again, very, very good line there. Very fast and awesome line to play with. Third line was kind of the line that a lot of people were criticizing me on, saying Gabrick's on the fourth, third line. And I honestly like my best player to be in on one of my lower lines and working out the chemistry like that. I find it just really throws people games off because they see this first line and they're just like, oh, he's not going to have a great team. And then... You know, you throw out that second line, and then this third line comes in and just goes ham because, you know, they got 85 or 95 skating Gabrick. So, um, again, Vanek, Berglund, Gabrick, fairly solid line, actually. Um, and the fourth line was the kind of, I guess, is my overall shutdown and my best line overall, I'd have to say. Um, Carter Stoll and Hemsky. Stoll's a beast at faceoff, so that's why he was so good in there. Um, and then on D we got my favorite pairing right here, Ekman Larson and Schultz. And then we have Hedman and Myers, Boschman and Franzen, and the goalies, Hiller and Brodeur. And that's about it. Anyways guys, thank you guys for watching the series. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and see you in NHL 14.